Today, the 8th of, uh, 8th of March, 2022, uh, some airlines in Nigeria have come together to do that, which is uh, obtainable out there in the avi aviation world. In the aviation world, we have so many alliances, airlines uh, key into. We have a uh, Star Alliance, there is uh, One World, and several others and airlines decide to key into those uh, alliances for the benefit of both the passengers and the airlines uh, themselves. So today in Nigeria, the 8th day of uh, Feb uh, March 2022, some airlines in Nigeria, notably APIS, United Nigeria, Aero, ARIC, ASMAN, Max Air, have uh, decided to come together to form w what we call the Spring Alliance. We decided to come together to do this for the benefit of the flying public that use the opportunities provided by these airlines to fly. By this alliance, our passengers are reprotected whenever there's a problem with one airline. It is our response to the cries and hues uh, or the flying public to certain things which are not actually caused by the airlines. But with this alliance and what we are going to be doing henceforth, the flying public will reap the benefits. For example, if Airpiece has a tech on any of their aircraft, the passengers of Airpiece need not to be delayed. If any member of this alliance is going to the same destination, all we need to do is to move the passengers over to <coughs> that other airline, a member of the alliance, at no other further cost to the passenger. This is a very noble step. This is a revolution being brought in the aviation world of Nigeria today. It will help the sustainability of our operations. It will help uh, the cause of the flying public to have seamless um, commuting <coughs> whenever they choose to. This is where we are today. As time goes on, we believe that other airlines will come and join this alliance. Today, history has been made. In this landmark event, the Nigerian schedule of projects coming together to sign this all-important document. This no doubt will revolutionize the service provision for a typical travel in Nigeria. It is all about the passenger. There's no doubt the Nigerian airline is going through some situation and um, part of the way is to react to this, bearing the passengers in mind. It's just simply to think out of the box. We're not reinventing the wheel, but we've just adopted what we see that has worked other places and that will surely work in Nigeria so that the passengers going to the airport are more guaranteed that they will have to fly. On this note, we are thanking the passengers and continue to appeal to them to show some understanding, to continue to show us love and knowing that we are in this together, that the airlines will continue to do anything possible within their strength to ensure efficiency of our services. And then thanking the government that they have been showing some understanding and we have no doubt in the next coming days there will be a whole lot of talks and discussions the airline operators will be engaging all stakeholders in the industry, all for the best of our services and efficiency. So United Nigeria Airline is very happy to be part of this process. If you look around here, we are the toddler in this in this business. We are the latest and the youngest and the newest among these two towns and gigantic players of the industry. So we are really very privileged to be counted worthy to be part of this process. Thank you.
this is the first time uh, something like this is happening in Nigerian aviation industry. You can see the commitment of the airline operators that are fully committed to making sure that uh, passengers clamoring for all uh, these, most especially that they are, we have put our own position on the challenges facing the aviation industry. But uh, like we rightly say, for every challenge you see an opportunity. And probably this is the time that we have seen an opportunity whereby the airlines can come together, work together, do a healthy competition. At the end of the day, it's like all what we are trying to do, try to make our passengers thrive, be happy and be safe. Safety is number one priority and that is what we stand for. And coming together, like my colleagues rightly say, you find out that all these uh, delays sometimes that is caused by just one airline is having problems. So passengers will not know. We just carry them from one point to the other on time and make sure that everything. And we are asking passengers um, to give us our utmost cooperation. We are doing our best. It's a challenging situation we found ourselves, but yes. Uh, we are all in this together and we are coping, we are coming out of this together and we thanks all the agencies, aviation agencies, regulators, securities and every other person that is coming to aviation industry. Um, we thank everyone and this is just the beginning. So today we are going to sign into existence what is now known as Spring Alliance uh, comprising of multiple airlines in the country, Asman Air, Aero Contractors, United Nigeria Airlines, Airpis, Arik, Max Air. But mind you, it's not limited to the Nigerian airlines alone. Other African airlines may wish to join the Spring Alliance. Its origin is from Nigeria, but it's open to the world. So, we are by as putting our signatories to these papers today, launching this uh, revolutionary idea that will revolutionize Nigerian uh, scheduled operations for the better. Thank you. Thank you and God bless you all.